among the 14 stocks I have right now in my portfolio, the cheapest one is without any doubt Crocs. And yesterday, I prayed for the stock to crash after the earnings. If you will ask me about these earnings, they were great. There's nothing I'm not happy about from these earnings. The revenues of the company are growing. Of course, they are not growing as in 2021 because back then the brand gained some popularity, but it's still it is growing. The only reason why the market is so disappointed with Crocs today is because of hate dude an acquisition they made a few years ago. According to the market, they made a huge mistake with this acquisition. I will agree that maybe it was a mistake they overpaid for it. What's happening with Hey Dude is that it was a brand that gained some popularity and probably Crocs thought that this was going to be long term, but it wasn't. It is something that is common. There is a brand that becomes very popular. People are going to rush to buy this brand, but then it dies out. It's not that popular anymore. This is what happened with Hey Dude and Crocs made this acquisition. Today you look at Hey Dude, the revenues of the company are folding and the main reason why the market was disappointed yesterday was because Crocs announced that the revenues of Hey Dude for the year would be down 14%, which is more than they were expecting. So over the long term, we expect that the revenues of Hey Dude and of course the profits of the company are going to keep declining. But now let's say for a moment, let's forget about Hey Dude. Let's pretend it doesn't exist. Let's pretend we are only looking at the Crocs brand itself, which is famous. Everyone knows about it. What we will do is to remove all the operating earnings of Hey Dude for the past 12 months. It is around 150 million US dollars. If we remove that and, and we keep the same interest payment for Crocs, we keep the same taxes, even though if they have less earnings, they will pay less in taxes. But let's say we keep everything the same. You will see that the earnings of Crocs today without Hey Dude would be around 700 million US dollars. The net income of the company. And today the company is trading at a market cap of less than 7 billion US dollars. It means that we can buy Crocs without Hedude at 10 times earnings. Now Hedude is not a company that is losing money. It is profitable. So if we add Hedude back to the business, we are getting Crocs at around 8 times earnings, which is 12.5% earnings yield. Crocs doesn't pay a dividends, but they are buying back shares. They have over 500 million US dollars worth of shares that they can buy back in the current program, and they are also paying back their debt. This is a great company. Over the last nine months, the company only spent 50 million US dollars in capital expenditures, and it is around the same as depreciation. So it is a capital light business, even though making shoes might not seem that capital light, but because they delegate it to other companies, it is a capital light business, and they have pretty good margins for a shoe company. Many people have told me that investing in shoe companies are not a good idea. Warren Buffett made a mistake with Dexter shoes a few decades ago. I agree that he made a mistake and he also says he overpaid for Dexter shoes. But the main reason why it was not a good investment has nothing to do with the shoes themselves. It was because of changing manufacturing worldwide. Shoes were being manufactured in Japan at the time. Dexter shoes was still making shoes in the United States. And these shoes, of course, had lower margins. That's why the company was killed. The same thing could have happened with handbags with something else. It's more about manufacturing than the shoes themselves. Crocs doesn't really have this problem, although many people have pointed out that it is easy to copy their products. I have never bought a Crocs in my life. They don't sell it here in my country, I, but I saw people wearing and I know that probably it's fake. I, of course, I'm not going to ask these people to let me see their shoes. There is, however, a certain brand loyalty. Many people buy Crocs because they like the brand, they feel loyal to the brand. And these shoes, they partner with other brands recently, it was with McDonald's, making limited edition shoes. And people who collect these shoes, people who are really loyal to the brand, they are going to buy these shoes. And I'm sure if you have a collection, you don't want fakes there. If you want to show your collection to someone, you don't want 20% of the shoes to be fake. You would want to buy the real products. These people are not really the ones that are going to contribute much to the sales of Crocs. But when they show their shoes collection on Instagram, on the social media, other people are interested to buy the shoes. This is how it works. But if I show a normal shoes on Instagram, it is less likely people are going to buy it. But Crocs, it is different. It is something else. 
when you see it, you know it's Crocs. Crocs believe that it would be the same thing with Hey Dude, but that was not the case. Yesterday, I posted on YouTube my thoughts about the earnings and someone commented, a popular investor, Asar, yeah, is his name. He commented something interesting that uh, Crocs is taking time with Hey Dude. They, they are not putting that much money right now. And I did not see it this way, but uh, it makes sense. It's true. They could have spent a lot of money, increased capital expenditures, even lose money on Hey Dude, trying to sell as many as possible. But this is not what they are doing. Yes, probably they overpaid for it. If I was going to buy Hey Dude, I would not have paid this price. But right now they are keeping the margins and the company is profitable. Probably if we look at five years from now, Hey Dude might be growing at the, around the same rate as Crocs or maybe even a little lower than that, but still the revenues won't be declining anymore. So if you are thinking about Hey Dude, Crocs, the whole company, five years from now, is it worth it to buy it at eight times earnings today? I believe it is. Of course, if we have a recession, probably sales would go down. The stock price would go down, but this should not worry because you have to take a margin of safety. That's why I was rushing so much to buy shares of Crocs. Even though it was trading at 10 times earning, I was taking my time to buy the shares of Crocs. I have the same attitude to Lululemon because these are retail, these are brands. If we have economic downturn, the stock price of these companies go down, sales go down. I have taken everything into consideration in my calculation of the intrinsic value but still, I don't want to rush to make this acquisition. But at eight times earnings, this is well below my margin of safety. And if prices remain at the same level, or I hope goes down further, I'm going to make Crocs one of the largest positions in my portfolio. Probably it's going to be bigger than Meta in a few months. Let's see, I hope so, because it's a great company. It's not like Meta in 2022. It's much better than Meta in 2022. With Meta, we had this uncertainty about uh, the metaverse but with crocs we don't have an uncertainty about hey dude the revenues are going down but it's a profitable company it's not like with the metaverse meta was losing that much money sometimes when you see these things you think okay the market must be so stupid why would they be selling shares of crocs yesterday after such great earnings but it works both ways. Sometimes you have earnings multiples of 8. Sometimes you have earnings multiples of 50. Like with this company, I will recommend you watch this video next. Have a nice day and goodbye.